everyone. I'm Tracy Matisak, and I'm here with Kate Schaefer. Kate is the executive director of the Blair County Arts Foundation, which has been largely responsible for restoring and maintaining this fabulous Mischler Theater. We're in Altoona, Pennsylvania. What a gem this is, Kate. Tell us a little bit about the history of this theater and, and the efforts to preserve it. Thank you, Tracy. It, it always makes me smile to hear people refer to this theater as fabulous because it is. It's a gem. Uh, we're very blessed. It's 105 years old. And as you can imagine, these theaters were in, in great disrepair. And in 1965, when we purchased the facility, there were actually holes in the ceiling and pigeons in the, uh, in the balcony. And so th there was a lot of the early work in the restoration years was in securing the facility and stabilizing the brick and coming up to code and ADA requirements and that kind of thing. So it wasn't really until about 1992 under the direction of Albert Michaels Conservation and John Rita that we started giving folks a sense of the beauty that we were going to uncover and at that time we did the lobby so that people could immediately see when they entered the theater what was to come and then uh, in 1997 we did the ceiling and in 1999 we came from the ceiling to the floor so really essentially it has been taken back to the 1907 version it was actually built in 1906 but burned down so the information that we have restoring the theater goes back to 1907 when it was rebuilt so we've kind of done all of that but we're only about halfway finished we still have a long way to go a lot of things that that again won't be seen but the beauty is all here now and uh, all of the allegories and the, and the proscenium arch have been restored and the paintings and the cherubs and so it's we're very very blessed yeah. it's this a is, community treasure really this is really a labor of love isn't it it is the whole community owns this theater I mean it is really central to the cultural community uh, we host the Altoona Symphony Orchestra, Altoona Community Theater, Allegheny Ballet Company, and so it really is the heart of all the culture in town, and, and there's never a time when we go to the community and say, we need to have seats refinished, or we need to have this restored, or we need to have this happen, that everybody doesn't just open their hearts, and uh, we're fortunate in that way. Arts education is certainly central to the mission of the foundation. Tell us about that and, and why it's important to be involved in a program like Humanities on the Road, for instance, to further that mission. We, we really devote a lot of our mission to education. Uh, a lot of the schools have been necessarily cutting back funding in arts programming and we kind of bridge that gap that starts to exist. We have a family theater series that's currently in its 26th year uh, that's very well supported by the School District Foundation, but it allows every student in this community to come to one of the family theater performances and we have six each year and Altoona Symphony has a young people's concert and so we're looking at the next generation of people that really own this theater. I mean they are going to be carrying forth our mission and if we don't involve them in the arts at a very early age they're not going to have that same passion that we do. So that's why it's really important for us to, to continue to foster that. Well, Kate Schaefer, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to talk with us. The program that we are taping here is Dvorak's New World with the Altoona Symphony Orchestra. It is going to be fabulous, so we hope you'll be able to join us for that. I'm Tracy Matisak. See you next time.